Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. I have uh, something, a kind of special plan for today. Something that I get asked a lot and something that I've wanted to do for a while, which is do RDX injectors make power? And I think this car and today will be the perfect example of whether or not RDX injectors are a good upgrade for say like an NA setup like this. So my plan is um, I'm not gonna use any old dyno graphs or whatnot. I know how much this car has made in the past, but I want to see how much it's making today. Because if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've been doing a lot of two-step with it. I've been doing a lot of crackle tune stuff with it and just tons of dyno pulls. So I'd like to see, make sure it's still healthy, still making the power that it's supposed to be making and see what it's making today with today's weather conditions. And then once I've done that, then I will swap in the RDX injectors and basically just set them up so that the air fuel ratios are the same as the stock injectors were set for. I won't touch any of the ignition timing. I won't touch any of the VTC angles. So we can rule out any changes other than if the RDX injectors make more power or less power than the stock, in this case, K24 injectors. So um, if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do. I will try to link it in in this corner there, but if you're new to the channel and this is the first time you're checking out, this is my 2006 Acura RSX. I have swapped in a 2006 Acura TSX engine. Um, it's got basic bolt-ons. It's got RBC intake manifold, a three inch short ram intake, a header, and a two and a half inch straight through exhaust. Other than that, the engine's completely stock. It's currently running on Honda K Pro V4. Um, and that's about it. So I'm going to strap it down to the dyno and do a few baseline pulls with the stock injectors, the tune as it is, and, and then I'll start swapping in the RDX injectors. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the car up and running. Basically, I just downloaded the existing tune that I have on my K-Pro. It's up here on my, in the K-Manager software. I've let it get up to operating temperature and I am going to do uh, two, three pulls now to see what it makes. And I guess once it's done, what I will also would like to do is show you how much duty cycle the stock injectors are, are at, at this horsepower level with the stock injectors. And then I will also show you what the duty cycle is at with the, uh, the RDX in injectors all said and done. So let's do some pulls. Okay, so I've done a bunch of pulls. Um, I have three graphs to show you. T today the car isn't making the peak amount of power that it did before. I think the best run in the middle of winter when it was the absolute co coldest, I think it made something like 233. Today, it's warmer. It's making 220 wheel horsepower. Um, but what I'd like to show here before I show the graphs is the final air fuel ratios at through VTEC are basically 12 point, just a little bit below 13 to one. 12.9 dips a little bit to 12 and a half and then is just, just ever so slightly under 13 to one. So air fuel ratio wise, this is what we're gonna shoot for with the RDX injectors. And then just what also is interesting is at Redline, the injectors are at 90% duty cycle. And technically that is completely maxed out. Um, 
ninety percent duty cycle is like is theoretically like the max that you want to run any injector at. Beyond there, they get inconsistent and can start to basically stick open and not perform as they as they're meant to. So, essentially, these stock injectors are completely maxed out with these bolt-on upgrades on this engine. So, will it make much more power? It should definitely. Um, you can I can eke a bit more duty cycle out of them, but they're very close to being completely maxed out. So that on its own, it is possibly worth just upgrading to the RDX injectors because, because they are bigger and they will provide more fuel without maxing out. So <clears throat> as I mentioned today, I've done, I have three of the last runs for today on the graph and they it consistently made two, 220. 220 horse and 160, let's call it 165 torque. So this is our baseline for today as is with the stock injectors. I'm going to now swap in the RDX injectors and see how much power it makes with the RDX injectors. Okay, before I get started, uh, one thing I do want to mention is, I've mentioned this in, in, a, in a few past videos, is there is a big difference between fake and real RDX injectors. If you're gonna do RDX injectors, make sure they are real. The only true way to know for sure is buy them from the dealer. These are from the dealer. They come in the OEM brown box. Um, they're officially sealed. They come like this with the pink bubble wrap and they're sealed within another bag. Um, if you've seen any of my older videos, I have another video with the TSX that had fake, in, fake RDX injectors and it didn't make that much power. And I actually have a couple of them here. These are the, these are a couple from that, from that car. And there are a few noticeable differences. Um, the problem is that there's, they're very good fakes. To the untrained eye, you would never know. The only real difference that I can find that's like very noticeable is the real RDX injectors have these, I don't know if you can see them, these little markings on the top here, where these fake ones do not fit focuses. So if you're gonna do RDX injectors, make sure to do real ones. There's no point in doing it if you're gonna buy the fake cheap, cheap ones. So don't bother with the fake cheap ones. Spend a little bit extra money, make sure you're buying authentic ones, and at least you won't have any issues with uh, with the injectors. But that being said, it's time to pull out the stock injectors and install the install the RDX injectors. I have to give a shout out to K-Tuned. I needed a set of uh, injector clips to do this install and they came through. They always come through for me and hook me up and help me out with projects. So thanks again K-Tuned for providing the injector clips for this uh, little project of mine. So to do the job, it's super straightforward pull off the fuel rail, undo, pull out the injectors. I have to change the injector clips to the RDX ones that I got from K-Tuned, and then we should be good to go. So let me take care of that, and we'll see if they actually make any power today. Okay, RDX injectors in. It's a super straightforward install. Basically pull out the old ones, put the new ones in, make sure you put their little retainer clips. Um, I've cut and spliced in the new clips, and then I've I crimp them really well with these like these little connectors and then I use special uh, heat shrink that has the glue in it so it's all sealed up so I found that this works really well works for me but uh, anyways so injectors are all in time to get started with the uh, setting up the ECU again and doing some pulls to see how much power it makes now Okay, with the uh, the car on and and the K-Manager software up and running, I have my original file that was tuned with stock injectors. I've All I've done now is I've saved the exact same file but named it RDX injectors. And if we go over to fuel injectors in the parameters window, you'll see the stock injector size is listed as 310. So I'm gonna change that to 410. And with K-Pro, on data provides injector dead times for the RDX injectors. So double click that to set the injector dead times to the correct values. And technically we're all set up. Injector size is done, injector dead size. So hit upload, 
to save send the file to the ECU with the new injector size and let's get it started. Turn on data logging. So it's up and running. Um, air fuel ratio is pretty good. It's very close to where it should be with just punching in the fuel injector size. I haven't done anything to the fuel table maps. So I'm gonna let it continue warming up and we'll start doing some pulls. All I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna change anything yet. I'm just gonna run it as is with, with the injector size changed. So let, let me warm it up and we'll see how much power it makes. said and done I think I have the data that I need to show you some good dyno graphs of of the results um, what I ended up doing was a few pulls two or three pulls with just um, changing the injector size to 410 and that got it super close it was a little bit lean so I did a I just did a quick adjustment of adding 5% fuel in VTEC and that added a little bit too much fuel it made it run a bit rich um, I'll show you that so well, why don't I show you here? So this run is the run with just the uh, adjustment to injector size, 410 cc's, no additional fuel to the fuel map. And as you can see, the, uh, the air fuel ratios are a bit too lean. It would not make its optimum power at these air fuel ratios. So I ended up doing another pull where I added 5% fuel to the VTEC portion of the map. And it ended up being a little bit too much fuel because in certain areas it overshot and it was a bit too rich as you can see it gets into the low 12s so then i pulled that back and did another pull with just three percent fuel added over top of the original tune and it's basically bang on to where you would want it which is nearly perfect it is basically exactly 12 and a half to one air fuel ratios all through vtec right to red line and then if you notice at 80 so I've been revving it a little bit higher 8200 and we're at only a maximum 72 percent duty cycle so it does give you a lot more room with these injectors if you want to make more power um, with more bolt-ons that will un unlock a lot more power so if you end up doing a set of cams these would be good injectors to to install to make sure that you have enough fuel to make the to make additional power so the big question is did it make more power with rdx injectors let's go find out so all said and done with the rdx injectors it made i want to say a tiny little bit more power based not not a noticeable amount and probably not anything to be worth just doing this as a mod on its own but let's bring up some graphs and i'll show you what i mean so this was the final dynograph um, this is RDX injectors with 3% fuel added. And if I bring up the graph with this, the final graph with the stock injectors, you can see it's basically identically the same. The, the lines are almost exactly the same. Any difference is technically negligible. It, it, it did show a reading of slightly more power, but in for all intents and purposes it is exactly the same there's no big change and if i bring up a bunch more other runs um, if i bring up the 
first run with the RDX injectors and no additional fuel in the fuel table. It technically lost a bit of power because it was a bit lean, but down low, essentially exactly the same. But just up top where it was a bit too lean, lost a little bit of power. Um, if I bring up the RDX injector run with 5% fuel, basically even with running a bit too rich, it still made exactly the same power. So I guess the big thing is, do RD RDX injectors make more power? It doesn't appear that they do. Um, this seems pretty conclusive that they have not made any additional power over stock injectors. The only real benefit would be that now you've unleashed more room to make more power because the stock injectors are basically maxed out at this power level. Um, and as for, I guess, the differences, so some people may be questioning, why is the, why is the engine only making 220 horsepower right now when where the most it's made it was 233? Um, I think the big difference is when I did those pulls, when I did that tuning, it was the middle of winter and it was minus, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees Celsius outside. So that right there will have a huge effect on power and it will make a lot more power when it's that cold outside. Right now it's a more reasonable temperature. So either way, this is very in line with what a K24 should make power wise uh, on this dyno 220 considering 220 wheel horsepower and what did it make? 165 torque. This is more in line with what this engine should be making technically. Um, it has almost no bolt-ons. It has a three inch intake and a skunk two header and a not so great two and a half inch exhaust. So anyways, peak power in this case shouldn't really matter. It is did the injectors make more power versus stock and I think that's pretty conclusive that they are basically exactly the same no worse no better but they do give you room to make more power if you have supporting mods to make more power than this power level so anyways i hope you found the video useful i uh i want to say thanks to everyone for watching uh and subscribing i just hit the 3000 subscriber mark and i'm really happy that I was able to hit that milestone and I'm very glad that you guys are liking the videos and you're liking them and subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate everything. So thank you for everyone who subscribed and watched and hit the like button. I really appreciate all of it. So thanks again and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks. Bye now.